hey guys today we are going to create custom steam overlays in inkscape so let's get started first we will remove this document border go to file go to document properties and click on this this like this one show border okay so after this pick up your rectangle tool and create a rectangle uh, press any color i guess just for the time being and you can use this dropper tool and i will link this image in the description click on any color and you can select the color for this rectangle from this color panel okay so now i will select this rectangle and change my measurements to pixel after changing it to pixel i will just change my weight to 1920 into 180 after doing this uh, open this layer panel you can open this layer panel by clicking this icon it will open our layer panel just currently our this rectangle is present in this layer we will click create another layer layer 2 add and we will lock this layer 1 now after locking layer 1 you can see we cannot touch uh, in this rectangle here now now onward now i will go to text tool click text here i will type starting okay starting and click again text create another text box and type starting so now i will just go to select tool you can press d to get a dropper tool click on this white color press d again to go back to select tool click on this starting tool again press d click on this white color again press d and we are done with this one i will try to place it now okay now i've got this soon hold click control and shift hold control and shift drag it diagonally you can see i can increase its size now i will just try to place it here now soon eyeballing it into the center and keep starting here go to text tool i will i will just change uh, go to select tool and click on soon okay choose our text i am gonna go with these these sounds okay click apply select starting i will go with this edge of suns for this and make it a little bit bold and click on apply doing this i guess this works fine now no 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 what we are gonna do i will make this i will just try to select this text here Go to dropper tool and click on this color. So Z go to text tool like this middle low uh, the middle ones and type this code here. Type this code here. Make it four nine D C B one and increase our a to to the max and deselect now we are done with this one now let's create our blobs for now i will just get the bezier tool uh, for creating ba the bezier the blobs easily i will go with this one click the second option create b spline I will just select this one i will select this one i will select this one i will select this one go with this i will go with this i will go with this i will go with this now this now select this uh, if you are not happy with this shape just double click it uh, first i will fill it with color press d again and i will go with this blue this time okay no, I will go with 
So just remove press and hold your shift and uh, press this cross click this cross and you will remove the stock from this just click on select again click this like this uh, of a blob push it downwards okay drop it down to the uh, bottom now oh, i think this works now uh, now after selecting this take your gradient tool okay now select your gradient tool create and edit gradients i will make it diagonal select this color press your dropper uh, press dropper and select this red i will try to change it from this to this this works good i guess oh i will rotate it back does not matter what's the shape of your d if you are not happy with it you can customize it as much as you want by as the shape you want you can customize this i'm okay with this one so i guess this works you can again create a blob we'll go with this one again click enter again i will go with this linear gradient and i have already gotten the gradient again because i have already created this this and used it here so just press this and you can again got this gradient you can change its shape by or just its direction by just using the gradient tool again and just driving it here and there as you want we'll go to select our mouse again move tool and i will just try to move it and i will just double click it one more time and just rotate it a bit I will create a blob again in this direction again go to linear gradient and select this I will change the gradient direction here and go take this one here take this make it like this i guess this works now i am gonna create another blob again again i will go to linear gradient again click this one and remove its stroke okay hold and press left shift and click this or you can just go just remove your uh, left shift and go to this stroke right click and just unset stroke you can also do it like, like this it this one also has stroke just remove it again and this one also has stroke just remove it again this this works i guess now you will see that these two are not going straight together right i will just rotate this gradient again rotating this gradient here and giving that gradient here now i will just duplicate it by dupli for duplicating i will press ctrl d change it, change its color to black right and just lower it one step lower it one step and i will increase its blur okay and decrease its opacity i guess this works fine i will do the similar with the blob in the middle okay yes i will wait for it i will first i will create a circle this time okay i will create a circle and i will hold ctrl and shift and create this circle first I guess this works. Now I will again go to increases opacity. I will press the linear gradient and click this one. 
I will change its gradient. And again duplicate it by Ctrl D. Make it black. And I will shift it downwards. Okay. Shift it downwards one lower step lower. Blur it. I did I shift it too much down. Okay, now this works. Blur it and remove its opacity a little bit. This works fine. Now oh, I will just make this key and go in this the same direction as before. Okay. If this comes again, you can just you these like this ones so that it does not get you do not get snapped to the nodes right now again you can this works fine i guess i will create one more here this again go to this again go to this like this I guess I just increase the size a little bit and set our stroke this has a stroke no this and I will I think I will lower it one step this looks cool but now you can see I cannot differentiate between these two so I will select this press ctrl d and make it black again and drop it down okay i will drop it down one step two step three step step okay now it's done i will increase its blur and now it's opacity i guess this works this works just fine i will try to center it a bit okay yeah this is great now what i'm gonna do i will take the basic uh, curve again tool again make it straight this time just create one line click again and press enter to finalize this now i will just select this press d get the white color or oh, press and hold shift then select it because it is stroke and you need to when you need to change the color of stroke you need to press and hold shift now i will increase its width go to stroke style change it to pixels i guess i will make it 3 pixel okay 3 pixels work fine it's fine now i will duplicate it Control d and just change it a bit okay. now again just hold this one duplicate it just move it here and there okay now it's again custom this works okay this looks good now i'm what i'm gonna do i will take the circle tool and just hold control and shift and create something like this press, press d and press shift okay press shift and click on the white color get it make it makes it make its stroke white color increase its opacity and press this cross without holding shift and you see you have created something like this a circle with a ring and a like a ring and a stroke outside it press and hold control and shift lower it a bit yes this works if you want you can raise its stroke width okay if you do not like it like this i will duplicate it and press it here just put it here anywhere you want okay just fill the spaces as you like I guess this works fine. Do the circle again. 
and I will just create a circle. I will remove its stock by it already does not have a stock. So I will just select this circle. Lock its height and width ratio. Okay, it's equal only. I will try to make it five pixel. Yes, five pixel works for me. I will duplicate it and I will just try to slide it on the right. Okay, by my using my right arrow. Now I will select these two. I will go to part object to part. I will create these both two object part. Now I will go to filters. I will go to extension. I will go to generate from part. I will go to interpolate. And I will click on light preview. You can see I have gotten a light preview for it. And click on apply it. Interpolate is used to create multiple similar objects in between two objects. Okay. I'll click close now. If you will see, I already got those two before that I already had. I will delete two of those. Now I will duplicate this and make it downwards. I will duplicate it again. I will duplicate it again. I guess I will just not use this. Control D. Control D. Control D. Okay. Okay, I'm going again. Control. D. Now just click on this. Click on line and align, dis align and distribution menu, and you will just distribute it between these. Distribute this between these and try to align the left edges. Okay just so that they are in, in a proper way I will just go to group them by clicking ctrl and g so that they I can move them together okay so I will just put one here and duplicate it and put one here now I will duplicate it once and I will put one here now select this lower it down lower it down again Okay, lower it down again like this element and make it to the lowest section okay I guess this works and I will select this one I will lower it again I will lower it again till I reach it to the bottom of this okay I will just select this one and send it to the back the farthest back okay now I will select this again this will go to the farther back just like this one so I guess we are done here and I will just delete this one. Okay, oh, that layer is in that element is in different layer. Okay, in layer one to change the elements of layer one, I will have to go to open my layer menu and just deselect this lock option. And I have to delete this. Now I can delete that. And I guess we have finalized it and completed it. So guys, if you have any questions, just comment into the comment box and ask me anything. I will try to answer it. And please like and share to your friends so that they can also learn this. Thanks for watching. See you again.